everyone, so today I'm super excited because it is time for my 2013 favourite. So, happy 2014, I guess. I'm pre-recording this in 2013, but it is now 2014 while you watch this New Year's Day. Happy New Year's and happy birthday to my boyfriend Hamish. If you'd like to wish Hamish a big happy birthday, I will leave his YouTube link down below. I also want to mention that from now on I will be doing a different upload schedule, slightly different. I'm going to be uploading every Monday, Wednesday and Friday from now on. Same time, 2pm New Zealand time, so that's not going to change. Just Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, just so I can have a little bit more of a weekend off. And having that little tiny gap will also mean that I can kind of do more vlog stuff and vlog like on the weekends and stuff like that and do some follow me so that's something I really want to do this year so yeah every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and that only means that's two less videos every month. So basically today I'm just going to collect together a bunch of stuff that I've just been absolutely loving throughout 2013. Um, I'm only going to do makeup because I might do a separate 2013 favorite skincare slash everything else so just like stuff that's not makeup because this is going to be a long video just alone so first of all i'm going to do a couple of primers um i i'm not going to stick to one product per category i'm just going to do my favorites whether it's one or five products so my favorite primers okay so first of all i have these two and these are my favorite like luminizing bases i have max strobe cream which is great for winter time because it's nice and thick and dewy and leaves your skin looking really fresh and just makes your makeup go on on top of it really smoothly and gives you a really radiant glow and then the other one that i love which is more affordable it's by l'oreal it's called the lumi magic base this one is a lot more thin, so it's really great for like summertime or if you don't like a really thick kind of cream on your skin during the daytime, this one's a really good alternative. This is my favorite during summer or hot weather, and I'm wearing this today underneath my foundation. It just gives a really nice radiant effect and makes my makeup last all day, it makes it go on so smoothly. I am just in love. Obviously, most of the stuff you're seeing in this video, you would have heard me talk about tons because it's stuff that I've been using like not all year because some of it I got like halfway through the year or whatever but it's all stuff you've heard me rave about basically. And then the other base, this isn't actually it because I don't have it but it is MAC Prep and Prime so I'll just cover the bottom. The basic plain MAC Prep and Prime primer is my favourite. If I don't want to go for like a super luminizy look I'll just go with the basic MAC Prep and Prime. I just find it makes my skin super smooth. I don't really like silicone primers so the MAC Prep and Prime just soaks into my skin and makes it really nice and smooth. Makes my makeup last all day long and it's just good. I like it. A couple of random products. Haro Lip Balm. You've heard me rave about this for the last couple of weeks because I only just kind of um, discovered it over like the last month but oh my goodness it's the best lip balm I've ever tried in my life it is completely raw vegan um, cruelty free it's organic like everything basically in my mind I think you know lip balm going on your lips you use lip balm to moisturize and nourish your lips so why would you go putting a lip balm full of chemicals on your lips because chemicals aren't good for you so this is made out of like all natural oils and waxes and stuff like that. So it's all natural, it's all moisturizing, it's all good. Like theoretically you could eat this. Might not taste great, but you could. Other random, my Leowelli Dewy Mist Spray. You've seen this almost all year probably. This is only my second one. Crazy, it lasts for ages. This is the best stuff, I'll show you how it works. Basically, it's like a mist, it's very cooling, it's great for summer. It basically sets down your makeup, sets down all the powders, sets it all down so it doesn't look cakey, and then it makes it last like all day long. And the reason I love this more than other ones is because the mist is so fine and even and it goes all over your face. It doesn't go like squirting onto random spots of your face and leaving your face all wet. It's just very fine. I love it and it smells pretty good too. Look at that like beautiful finish it leaves. Obviously I've got highlighter and stuff on but honestly it just makes my foundation like phenomenal. It just is beautiful. It's the perfect finishing kind of product. Next for concealer, my true favourite is MAC Pro Longwear. I use mine in MW20 because I have a yellow undertone so I use the opposite undertone and it really brightens up my under eye area. So this is very pinky so yeah it brightens really well and the formula is amazing. It doesn't crease, it's very thin but high coverage like intense. You need the smallest amount. This is the only one I've ever had. I've had it for months and months and months 
and I'm only up to like there. Like this stuff is crazy and it's worth the price. It's amazing stuff. Like if you really want a good concealer, it's worth spending a bit more and getting this one. I don't really use it on my face. I only usually stick it on my under eyes and down my nose to cover a few freckles and things like that. Also a quick honorable mention, my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Mine is in custard and I just want to mention this quickly because it is beautiful. I don't use this under my eyes because it does crease on me, but I use it on my face and it's got amazing coverage. The color is perfect for me and the finish is so beautiful and quite natural. Like it's just got a really nice finish. Um, I'm not really sure how to describe it to you, but maybe if you see a nice counter, swatch this on your hand. It is just beautiful and creamy and I love it. I literally have used this product about maybe 15, 16 times, but I'm putting it in this video because I'm blown away and it's cheap. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. It's super cheap. I got mine off Beauty Joint, I think. Um, it's in the color Sheer. I don't know if there's another color, but this one's in Sheer. It's basically a setting powder that you use under your eyes and it's super ultra fine and it doesn't go cakey. It is translucent, so it's got no color. It prevents creasing under my eyes and it doesn't look cakey and it doesn't look patchy. It literally looks like my skin has been airbrushed after I put this on. I am in love. I even use it like on my nose and just around like the tops of my cheeks and stuff where I don't put my face powder. I love this and you need the smallest amount. I'm just so impressed. BB cream. You guys know I'm a huge fan of BB cream and the year before last year was all about my Leo Ali Triple The Solution BB cream. I still love that but the only thing is last year I was a lot darker than I was the year before so I couldn't really wear it. It didn't match. I couldn't wear it alone, so I just didn't really use it very often. I still love it. I still think it's amazing. It's just nothing that I reached for this year, last year. I'm getting so confused. So the one that I have been obsessed with, you guys have seen this in a few videos, my Elizabeth Arden Visible Difference Multi-Targeted BB Cream. And this is in shade 2. I think it's got 3 shades. And this is just amazing. I even turned Carissa onto this. It is so nice. It's got really good coverage. So I like to use this if I don't really want to wear like a full face of makeup. I'll put this on and then just some mascara brows, lip gloss or lipstick and then maybe a little bit of powder. My boyfriend loves it when I do that. Like it's his favourite makeup look. And this just makes my skin look so radiant and natural and pretty and it's got like sun protection and it's just so good. So if you're looking for a good everyday BB cream slash tinted moisturizer kind of situation, try this. I love it so much. See if you can get a sample because I'm just obsessed with it. Foundations. I have literally used at least 10 foundations this year. I've loved a lot but I had to narrow it down. I couldn't show you like 10 foundations. I narrowed it down to two. My two ultimate favorite foundations of last year slash at the moment. <laughs> First of all, Nars Sheer Glow. I have been blown away by, th by this product. I'd been meaning to try it for ages, um, you know, like years ago. And I finally got around to trying it and I love this stuff. It is so flawless. It just goes on my skin amazingly. It just looks flawless. It just looks healthy. It just looks the perfect amount of like glowy. It's got quite a natural finish so it's not like overly dewy, it's not matte, it's just like really great, it just looks amazing, didn't break me out, just looked good. So I'm obsessed. And then the other one that I've been obsessed with for full coverage, because this one is more of a like medium coverage slash I could really sheer it out to make it like quite a light finish, or you could build it up to full coverage, but when I wanted a really good full coverage foundation, Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. This stuff is amazing. Every time I wear this, I get compliments on my skin. It's got the most amazing finish. Quite a like, kind of full coverage, but dewy. It's not cakey looking. It looks like flawless skin, like perfect skin, but it doesn't look cakey because you can really sheer it out and blend it into your skin. You have to buff it in. You can't just like put it on the top of your skin because then it does look cakey. You have to like buff it in but you honestly don't even need much and it gives you full coverage like I love this stuff so much it's so luminous and beautiful and it just makes my skin look amazing so there's nothing else I need like I just love this my favorite setting powder of the year I've had quite a few I've loved the Australis fresh and flawless I've loved the Mac studio fix 
I've loved a few other ones. The NARS one, I think they were all great. But my ultimate favorite one and the one I reach for the most is Cover FX. I think this is like their mineral mineral powder or pressed mineral powder or something. Um, you can use this alone because it is a very good coverage. But what I do is I literally just like dab it a few times with a brush and then just dab it on my face. So it gives a little bit of coverage, nothing too much. And it is just amazing. Like I can't even describe to you how good it makes my skin look like it looks so healthy and the thing I love about it is it's not completely matte basically it lets the foundation underneath breathe through and it keeps that finish so if I use a dewy foundation I use this it'll stay dewy it won't like go completely matte and if I use a matte foundation I put this on top it's not dewy eyebrows you guys know these two here together I've just Loved these, they save my eyebrows on the daily, and I just love them. Elf Brow Kit and Ash, super cheap. I love the color, I just love how it looks, I love how it stays put. I just love everything about it. I've been using this forever. You guys have been seeing me use this for like two years now. And then the new edition, well, new ish, I've been using this for a few months and I just love it. If I'm wearing almost no makeup, if I'm going for like a no makeup makeup look, I'll just use this in my brows just to tint them. It's called the Ico Brow Gel Shape and Define, and it's just a really good tint and it just holds my brows in place. And I have been loving it. Most used eyeliners. For my pencil eyeliner, it has been the Cat Eyes by Pop. And I don't know why, it's like the randomest shape, it's like a kind of slanted shape. But I have used this tons on just my waterline tight line and just to like smudge under my lash line. Like just a basic black eyeliner that goes on my waterline and stays there and is super black. It's just basic and I just love it. It's just whatever. So I don't know, it's been really good to me. I like it. And then I can definitely say this is my favourite liquid line I've ever tried in my life and it is the Maybelline Hyper Glossy Liquid Liner. It is a glossy finish. The reason I love it is because the formula is super black and it lasts all day without cracking or fading or smudging or anything and the wand is just perfect. It's so easy to put on and I don't know, like everything about it is perfect. I wish they had a matte version. Like if they bring out a matte version that's the exact same except matte, I would be all over that but I do love the glossy one it just adds a little bit of glamour to an everyday look so if you haven't tried this already please try it because it's my ultimate favorite obviously it would depend on what kind of applicator you like though because this is a small brush tip applicator for my lashes Revital Lash my favorite eyelash conditioner growth serum thing because it is completely safe it doesn't change your eye color it doesn't make your eyes go red it doesn't make your eye color turn brown or anything like a lot of other ones do it conditions my eyelashes and makes them really long and thick and my bottom lashes are like huge i've got false eyelashes on right now but like my bottom lashes are massive and it's all because of this i love it two favorite mascaras number one mac 3d lash and I just love it, it makes my eyelashes look fake, it gives so much volume, gives them length, it just makes them look huge and that's what I like. I don't care about like curling and all that kind of stuff because I kind of already have long eyelashes, I kind of already have curled eyelashes, I just want lots of volume and darkness. It's just a really great formula and I love the wand very similar to this wand which is my covergirl lash blast which is my other favorite this one here is actually the waterproof one because i ran out of my regular and i haven't repurchased it yet but i will be um but yeah this one is waterproof i hate the waterproof because it's literally impossible to get off impossible it takes me about three days to get it all off so i like the regular one i'm not a waterproof girl but anyway the normal one oh my goodness it is amazing and it's one of the cheaper ones you can get from a store covergirl it's just amazing i love the formula i think it's perfect eye bases i have been crazy about cream eyeshadows this year and there are so many that i love there are literally like 30 or 40 that I love but I just picked a couple um, in general MAC paint pots this one here is Paintly I just love paint pots because they just go on my lid and they stay put all day and they don't crease on me so I can wear them alone or I can wear them underneath like an eyeshadow color so this one here is just like a pale pinky kind of neutral color and it's just amazing all over the lid and then you can put any color in the world over top it really helps my eyeshadows to stand out and go on smoother and last all day and then I have been loving this I've only got one it is the benefit creaseless cream shadow or something this one is in my two cents and I love benefit cream shadows this is the color it's so pretty and I just love wearing these alone when I can't be bothered with my makeup literally just take a finger or take a small synthetic brush and just like 
dip it on, wipe it on, and it stays all day. And I just love the colors. Like, I really want more. I just am obsessed. There are so many others I love, like from NARS, from Makeup Forever, from Illamasqua, from Maybelline. Like, there are so many others I love, but I just showed you those ones for now. This pigment has to be mentioned because it changed my life. This is the Copper Sparkle Pigment by MAC. You saw my tutorial using this. It is an amazing colour, especially if you have blue, green, hazel eyes, brown eyes even. This would go with anyone's eye colour. It's just so pretty, so vibrant, so sparkly, so perfect. Had to be in here. MAC Soft Brown Eyeshadow. And I'm trying to open my palette. It is that colour smack bang in the middle. This colour has changed my life. It's my favourite crease. Oh, there goes an eyeshadow down my bra. It is the perfect crease colour that's really warm toned. And I've just absolutely loved it. I don't know why it took me so long to get it. It has definitely been one standout MAC eyeshadow that I have purchased this year. Well, last year. I just absolutely love it. And if you don't have it in your collection yet, it looks like such a boring colour. But it really just transforms your eyeshadows because it's so warm. And it's just a little bit different to like a normal like, neutral brown in your crease. Like it's so pretty. I really, really like it. My absolute favourite palettes. Okay, first of all, Stila in the Light. Just because their pigmentation is incredible. The colours are incredible just for every day. Like, daytime to nighttime, perfect colours. There are a few matte ones. There's, I think, three mattes, and then the rest are shimmers or slightly shimmery. And it's just a really good selection of colours. The pigmentation is literally like heaven. It's like butter. They're so pigmented and soft. And I love Stila eyeshadows. I just think everyone needs this palette. It's so pretty. And it also has my ultimate favourite colour here, Kitten. Look at that. It is so pretty and it's so brightening and just amazing. Naked 2 palette. I still love the original Naked palette, but I've just used this one a lot more this year. Looks like that and everyone has talked about this a million times, so there's not much point in me rambling on about it, but I still love it and it's still worth it. I still worth. I still think it's worth picking up. It's just got a whole lot of really cool like cool tone browns and then the Naked one is more like warm tone, but I just really loved this. So, yep. I loved this this year, last year. And then one of my ultimate favourites as well, Lorik Pro Palette. Amazing colours. It's got a row of mattes, a row of shimmers. You could do any daytime to nighttime look with this, any neutral look. And then it's got that pop of gold. It's got like that pop of red. It's got a pop of like a kind of purplish brown. It's just got everything, apart from vibrant colour obviously, but everything you need for just a neutral wearable look. For blush, I feel bad mentioning this, so I'm only going to mention it briefly, but the Art Deco Bronzing Glow Blusher Limited Edition, this was definitely one of my favourites. I used this so often since I got it, and I still use it all the time, but I try not to use it on video because I don't know if you can get it anymore, so let's stop talking about that. Tom Ford Blushes changed my life. This one here is in Love Lust, and it is like orgasm. I love it more than orgasm. It's so pretty and so fine and so pigmented and so amazing. This one here I freaking love. This one is in the shade, what is this called? Flush. It's got it all over my fingers. Whoops. You can see how pigmented it is. But it is so bright. Like so vibrant. So beautiful. So... It just looks amazing. Like amazing, amazing, amazing. If you want to spoil yourself, try out a Tom Ford blush and their eyeshadows. And I wanted to show you my She Wolf palette, but I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Also just NARS blushes and MAC blushes in general. Just loving the color selection and the texture. I just love both of those brands. Too Faced did it right with this product as well. This is the Too Faced Pink Leopard Blushing Bronzer. This is like a three in one. You can literally like swirl your brush in there and put it all over your cheek from here to here. And it's like bronze blush highlighter perfect so easy so fast if you're in a rush and it just looks so pretty and bronzed and glowing and just stunning and then also their bronzer Too Faced Chocolate Soleil love this bronzer I'm wearing it today I just think it's a perfect kind of warm toned brown that just bronzes you up and makes you look super sun-kissed and it smells amazing and it's super fine super soft just great and then my ultimate favorite Nars Laguna Hello, just amazing. I've used this all year since before that, like since the year before. I mean, it's amazing. Such a great color, such a great consistency, such a great contour color, bronzing color, whatever. I just love it. No, I haven't forgotten about this. I've just tried not to use it in videos too often because it is all I used. The Stila Duo in Kitten. 
oh my goodness it is amazing it is so perfect you can use one or the other or mix them together you can go for a bronze or a pink and oh my goodness they're just so pretty I love this it makes me feel like a Victoria's Secret model and then also a quick mention for Nars Albatross which I got kind of recently like a month or two ago but it is just such a pretty kind of white gold color and I had to mention it because I have nothing else like it it is so nice there are heaps of lip products I've been loving. One of them, Chi Chi Nude Lip Liner. Perfect just to create like a pouty lip or as a base for any lipstick. It is darker than my lip color, so it's not like a nude nude. It's like a dark brownie nude, but it just works so well to like emphasize my lip shape and give me really pouty big lips. Like, it's amazing. I use this in my big lips tutorial. Australis Velour Lips, in particular these two shades, they're very similar to the, what are they called? The Lime Crime Velveteens. They're very similar to the Stila Steel Day ones. Lots of products like them, but these are my favorite. And they don't have a huge color selection, but these two colors are amazing. The orangey one and the pinky one. Such good products. I have been using them like crazy. I think they're amazing. They last all day. They're a little bit drying, but not too bad. Not as bad as some of the other brands I've tried, but I just am obsessed, and I think these are phenomenal. The Too Faced Lip Injection Color Bombs. I've been loving this year as well, more so the last like two or three months. I just love them. They are basically like a balm, and then you just rub them on your lips. They tint your lips for ages, and then they plump up your lips as well, and I just love them. They actually do make a difference in my lip size, so I don't need to go get lip injections. I just use this. I love it. Best lip glosses of the year, NYX Butter Glosses. These are cheap. They have so many colors. Every single color is amazing, and they last, and they're not sticky, and they smell amazing and I just love them. This one here is called Peaches and Cream and it's so pretty and they're quite pigmented so you can wear them alone, you can wear them on top of a lipstick or whatever. I love these. I have I think nearly every colour and I'm just obsessed. Also I have a few of these, the Buxom lip glosses by, is it Bare, Essent yeah, Bare Essentials? This one here is in Creamsicle and I love these because they look so juicy on the lips. In fact I'll put a little bit on now. They have a little bit of um, peppermint in them, so it plumps up your lips and it feels really fresh. And my boyfriend, this is kind of too much information, but every time he kisses me, if I have this on, he like loves it, like the tingling sensation. He thinks every girl should wear these. For lipsticks, as always, NYX India. Perfect pale, pinky, peachy nude color. Lime Crime Coquette, which is this color here. And also Lime Crime Babette amazing colors my voice i'm losing my voice i'm talking too much amazing colors vegan cruelty free super creamy super pigmented absolutely loving lime crime the Too faced lipsticks Too faced have done quite a few good things this year um this one here is in marshmallow bunny which is just like a really pretty pinky color this one here is in naked dolly which is a perfect nude and the reason i love these is because the colors are super pigmented but they don't feel chunky or heavy they're very sheer but good pigmentation so you don't need much and they just look flawless and I just love the formula and they last ages and the packaging's cute like I just love everything about them. This YSL lipstick in number 24 this is their Rouge Pure Couture I think and it's just the perfect pinky nude. In general Chi Chi lipsticks have blown me away because they have an amazing color selection. Look at this this is only some of them as well I've still got another tray with some like darker oranges and reds and plums and stuff I think they're amazing and I really need to get around to doing a lip swatch video with all of them. I've just been blown away with Chi Chi in general this year. I think they have so many good products. These Stila lipsticks are phenomenal. Um, these are called the Color Balm lipsticks and they're very similar to the lip gloss that I was talking about in the terms that they have like a peppermint feel and they are amazing. The only thing I don't like is how it's not like a tapered kind of tip so you can't put them on super easy but the packaging is adorable it's got the color and the stila it's got a mirror and then this one is an L and it's like a perfect kind of pink color and then this one here is my ultimate favorite called Avery and it's like a nude kind of like pink it's like a peachy nudey pinky color one of my favorite nudes that I only recently got but I've been wearing a lot the Rouge Artist Intense by Makeup Forever and this is in the shade 22 and it's like my perfect nude it's very similar to like Myth but I just love it. I don't know if I've used it in a video yet or not. I can't remember, sorry. And then of course MAC. I love MAC lipsticks. I've literally loved like 
30 different ones this year but here are a few that I've been loving because I don't want to keep you waiting for too long for this video to end. This one here, Morange, my favourite MAC lipstick of all time, just a bright orange. Looks so scary but you should get it because honestly it transforms your face. It makes you look amazing and it, so many people can wear it, trust me, so many people. Pure Zen, a good nude, a little bit more sheer, a little bit more pinky, just really good everyday nude that's not going to wash you out. Cyber, just been loving it, it's just a super fun colour. I've only worn it a couple of times but it's just like a super dark purple and I even did a tutorial using this. Just loving it, it's just something a bit different. And then this colour here which was part of a collection, Sweet and Sour, which is like a kind of like pastel peachy yellowy I mean yellow peachy orange color and about 20 million other lipsticks but I can't keep going on forever I need to just do like a top 10 lipstick video or something that is everything so I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of roundup video sorry I'm playing with my hair I washed it today and it's super limp and not doing anything I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful please write down below in the comments what your favorite product of all of 2013 was. I want to know what your ultimate favorite was and if you can't pick one, pick like top five or something. I want to hear. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing year. This is going to be the best year yet for all of us. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. Think super positive. It's going to be one of the best. And don't forget Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads from now on. Have a really amazing day. Bye! <laughs> Now I'm using the small eyeshadow brush by EXO Beauty and the white and cream. I'm mixing these together and just highlighting my eyes with that. So that's going on the inner corners and then also underneath the brow bone.